I arrived in Kaohsiung today and uh, it's uh, a bit moody weather. Uh, there is a typhoon around Taiwan. I was supposed to go to Shaoliuzhou, a small island, but it was cancelled due to the typhoon. Instead, I have booked some days in Kenting and I found I have a different spot from my room. So I'm just having a small day to night time lapse from my window here. I put the camera really close to the window and this way I can uh, shoot through glass uh, with minimal reflections. It's morning here in Kaohsiung and in a couple of hours I'm going to Kenting um, and the typhoon is just around the corner. Book to this really nice place there and most likely a lot of things in that place like you know there is a swimming pool, there is uh, access to the Kenting National Park where I was supposed to shoot and stuff is closed due to typhoon and I might get lucky to actually make a shot uh, where you can experience the typhoon or a time lapse who knows uh, but yeah let's see It's uh, around 9 o'clock here in Kenting. The typhoon is still raging. I'm shooting a time lapse through the window. It's not going to be good. I'm just doing it because I would regret it if I didn't do it anyway. Um, but yeah, it's going to be blurry. I feel like there's basically no people around here. Uh, I mean, there's only a few cars and so on. I guess a lot of people cancel because of the typhoon. So it feels like I'm holding on, sort of.
I won't shoot anything today because there might be rain coming soon and it's very cloudy in some parts. So I'm just walking to Sichuan, uh, a sunset spot, to get some fresh air and yeah, just enjoy the peace at the sea a bit. View to have my favorite Gentoo Dan Heitan bubble tea. Ah, Kaohsiung is lovely. Just take me here to Chichin Lighthouse. I've been here before, but I never shoot time lapse. Today I'm going to the actual sunset setting behind the lighthouse. And yeah, I believe it's gonna be beautiful. We just had a little bit of rain, but now it's getting better. And there's a lot of people behind me because they built this fairly new place where you can actually see Gaoshan City behind as well. Uh, another good angle I would love to shoot one day. A lot of things changed since I was here six, seven, eight years ago. I forgot, really long time ago. Now they have a nice coffee shop and everything. It's, uh, it's really nice here. So, been shooting the time lapses here on two cameras, and it's day to night. It's very, very nice. Most people left now. It's more quiet and uh, extremely, extremely nice. You have a 360 degree view of Kaohsiung here from Chitian Lighthouse, which is super, super nice. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful.
I just got back to Taipei from Kaohsiung and now I'm rushing to Bayman to the Camera Street um, because I need to have my one tripod fixed where the leg has been broken for a while but I couldn't bring it for the repair because yeah I needed it for my trip um, so yeah I'm heading there and then I'm going to meet a Swedish YouTuber who asked to make a recording video interview or something like me with me long time ago and then there the afterwards so it's a bit rushed today Today's guest might be the foreigner who has taken most photos of Taiwan, Henrik from Denmark. So we are now in the car trip and arrived in St. Audio uh, on our way to the Teapot Mountain where we will shoot the sunset later. But right now, just a quick stop here uh, because the view is nice and having a little short time left and force continuing to Teapot Mountain. Yeah, that's about us. I think it's with us. Now, 